Good day everyone. This is Kapatagan Farming Adventure once again, and in this video, we'll explore a list of heritage chicken breeds, such as Black Australorp, Rhode Island Red, Bard Plymouth Rock, Buff Orpington, White Leghorn, Brahma, and Marins. I'll also discuss their special features and their unique characteristics, and please do watch this video until the end. As I'll also discuss numerous essential tips on how to care for these special breeds. We'll also discuss the importance of supporting sustainable farming practices, and how viewers can get involved in preserving and promoting these valuable heritage chicken breeds. But first of all, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you may also hit the notification bell, and be updated with all of my upcoming videos. Here are some of the most popular heritage chicken breeds, and let's kick off with the Black Australorp. Black Australorps are large, heavy, and very beautiful. They have close fitting feathers. They are soft feathered chickens with an upright stance. They have well rounded breasts and deep bodies. Black Australorps are broad across the saddles and shoulders. Both hens and roosters hold their compact tails high. Their bright red faces and black feathers with a beetle green sheen give them a striking look, which has made them different from other breeds. They have red-colored wattles, and single combs. Their combs have not more than seven serrations, and they always keep it upright. The faces of black Australorp chickens are totally feather-free and smooth. Legs are black or slate-blue-gray colored. Their eyes are preferably black, beaks are dark. The underside of the feet of black Australorp chickens are white. A large-sized black Australorp rooster weighs about 8.5 to 10 pounds and a large-sized hen weighs about 6.5 to 8 pounds. Rhode Island Red Rhode Island Red chickens are relatively hardy, and probably they are the best egg layers among the dual-purpose breeds. This breed is a good choice for the small flock owner. They continue producing eggs even in poor housing conditions than any other breeds, and they can also handle marginal diets. Rhode Island Red is one of the breeds which has excellent exhibition qualities and good production abilities at the same time. They have rectangular, relatively long bodies, typically dark red in color. They have red-orange eyes, reddish-brown beaks. And their feet and legs are yellow, often with a bit of reddish color on the toes and sides of the shanks. Their skin is yellow-colored. The bird's feathers are rust-colored, however, Darker shades are known, including maroon bordering on black. Rhode Island Red Chicks are a light red to tan color. On average, a male Rhode Island Red weighs about 3.9 kilograms, and a female weighs about 2.9 kilograms. Bard Plymouth Rock Bard Plymouth Rock chickens are hardy, long-lived, and larger-sized breed. Some of the varieties of this breed are mainly raised for meat, and some of the varieties are good layers. Plymouth Rock chickens have a moderately deep full breast, and they possess a long broad back. Their legs and skin color is yellow. No feathers in their legs. The hens have a deep, full abdomen, and it is a sign of good layer. Plymouth Rock chickens have bay-colored eyes, their face is red with red ear lobes, and have a bright yellow beak. They have a single comb and the size of the comb is moderate. Their feathers are short and fairly loosely held but not so long as to easily tangle. 
Like the baby chick's feathers, the Plymouth Rock chicken's bottom feathers are soft and downy. This chicken breed comes in a variety of colors, such as barred, buff, blue, black, Colombian, partridge, silver penciled, white, light barred, dark barred, etc. On average, a mature male Plymouth Rock chicken weighs up to 8 pounds and a hen weighs about 7.5 pounds. Egg production varies depending on the strains of the bird. But on average, hens lay about 4 eggs per week. Buff Orpington Every chicken breed has certain characteristics, although every bird is unique. Buff Orpingtons also have some special characteristics through which you can easily distinguish it from other chicken breeds. Buff Orpington chickens have their own set of defining traits. They are dual-purpose breed and suitable for both egg and meat production. During the late 1800s, this breed was developed in England. Usually, a Buff Orpington rooster weighs about 10 pounds on average, and hens weigh a bit less than roosters. Roosters are highly meat productive, and most of the backyard chicken keepers like them for meat production. Orpington hens are also good layers. On an average, a healthy hen can lay about 250 eggs per year. White Leghorn Ten color varieties are recognized in Italy, where the Livorno breed standard is recent. The Italiana is a separate Italian standard for the German Leghorn variety. The French Poultry Federation divides the breed into four types, the American White, the English White, the Old Type and the Modern Type and they listed 17 color variants for full-size birds and 14 for bantams. The French Poultry Federation also recognizes an autosexing variety, the cream leg bar. Both the American Bantam Association, ABA, and the American Poultry Association recognize a number of leghorn varieties. Most of the leghorn chickens have single combs. In some countries rose combs are permitted, but not in Italy. Leghorn chickens have white earlobes and their legs are bright yellow. Fully grown leghorn roosters weigh 3.4 kilograms, hens 2.5 kilograms, cockerels weigh 2.7 to 2.95 kilograms, and pullets 2 to 2.25 kilograms, and for the bantams variety, the maximum weight is 1.02 kilograms for the roosters and 0.91 kilograms for hens, according to the British standard. But the Italian standard gives a weight range of 2.4 to 2.7 kg for roosters, 2.0 to 2.3 kg for hens. Brahma Brahma chickens are dual-purpose breeds. They are very beautiful, large, and hardy birds. They are stately birds with an upright carriage and a large head. They should almost appear to form a V when standing. They stand fairly tall, males more than females. They have strong feet with feathers extending down the middle toe. The plumage of Brahma chicken should be held more tightly. They have a pea comb, and they can adapt themselves to all types of climates. They are winter hardy birds and lay large light brown color eggs. And last but not least, Marin's. Marin's chicken is a dual purpose breed, and is known for both its fine meat qualities and extremely dark eggs. They grow large enough to be used for meat production as well as for eggs. On average, Marin's hens produce about 150 to 200 eggs per year. There are many color varieties available of Marin's chicken. The recognized colors in the French standard are black, black copper, birchen, black-tailed buff, Colombian, cuckoo, golden cuckoo, wheaton, and white. Cuckoo and black copper are the most common of all these breeds. Black copper marins appear in black with copper feathers on the neck. And cuckoos are of barred feathers, giving a black and white speckled appearance. There are also some other colors exist which are not officially recognized. Such as blue, blue copper, and splash. This breed should have orange eyes. The shanks are usually slate or pink, and the soles of the feet should always be white as marins have white skin, not yellow. They have red-colored single comb and red wattles. Just like I promised, here are some essential tips on how to care for heritage chickens breeds, along with the importance of supporting sustainable farming practices in preserving and promoting these valuable breeds. 
Provide them with a spacious coop that is well ventilated and protected from the elements. Heritage chickens need plenty of space to roam and forage, so their coop should be at least 10 square feet per bird. The coop should also be well ventilated to prevent the spread of disease. Give them access to a safe outdoor run where they can forage for food and exercise. Heritage chickens are natural foragers, so they need access to fresh grass, bugs, and other natural foods. Their outdoor run should be at least 100 square feet per bird, and it should be fenced in to keep them safe from predators. Feed them a balanced diet that includes a variety of grains, vegetables, and fruits. Heritage chickens need a diet that is high in protein and low in fat. They should be fed a mixture of grains, vegetables, and fruits, as well as a calcium supplement. Keep their water clean and fresh at all times. Heritage chickens need access to clean, fresh water at all times. The water should be changed daily, and the waterer should be cleaned regularly. Provide them with a nesting box where they can lay their eggs. Heritage chickens will lay their eggs in a nesting box. The nesting box should be placed in a quiet, dark area of the coop. In addition to providing proper care for heritage chickens, it is also important to support sustainable farming practices. Sustainable farming practices help to preserve the environment and protect the health of the chickens. Some sustainable farming practices include Using organic feed and bedding Organic feed and bedding are better for the chickens and the environment. Providing the chickens with access to sunlight and fresh air Sunlight and fresh air help to keep the chickens healthy and happy. Minimizing the use of antibiotics and other medications Antibiotics and other medications can harm the chickens and the environment. By following these tips, you can help to ensure that your heritage chickens are healthy and happy. You can also help to preserve these valuable breeds for future generations by supporting sustainable farming practices. Here are some additional benefits of raising heritage chickens. They produce more flavorful and nutritious eggs. Heritage chickens are raised on a more natural diet which gives their eggs a richer flavor and higher nutritional content. They are more resistant to disease. Heritage chickens have been bred for centuries to be hardy and resistant to disease. This makes them less likely to get sick, which can save you money on veterinary bills. They are more docile and friendly. Heritage chickens are often more docile and friendly than commercial chickens. This makes them more enjoyable to have around, and they can even make good pets. If you are considering raising chickens, I encourage you to consider raising heritage chickens. They are a valuable part of our agricultural heritage, and they offer many benefits over commercial chickens. That's all for this video. I hope that you get all the information that you need to know when it comes to raising heritage chicken breeds and once again don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and be updated with Kapatagan Farming Adventures future videos.